Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 2010 American vampire horror film named Stakeland. In a world of vampires, an expert vampire hunter and his young protege travel toward the sanctuary. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see a boy named Martin who is going somewhere in the car with a man and he is telling his story. He tells that the man's name is Mr. and he is a vampire hunter. The vampire pandemic was spreading very fast in America. Everyone became a vampire and was biting people and thus their number was increasing very fast. The cities were almost empty and the survivors had also moved to rural areas so that they could form groups there to protect each other from vampires. Martin and his family were also about to leave their house one night and go somewhere. Just then their pet dog runs out of the garage after hearing a sound and Martin also comes out after him to check on him. Just then we see Martin's mother who is injured and is telling Martin to run away and suddenly someone drags her inside. Seeing this, Martin starts running towards the house but then a man comes there and catches him and this man was Mr. He silences Martin and tells him that his parents are dead and if he wants to live, then keep quiet and join with him to put an end to that which has killed them. Then Mr. gives him a gun and they both start going inside the house. Inside the car, there is a radio playing in which people were being asked to stay in the house after evening and close the windows and doors properly. Martin sees that his mother is dead from a vampire attack and that his father is badly injured. Then they hear the cry of his younger sister and they see that the vampire has started drinking her blood after killing her. After which he attacks both of them too. But Mr. saves himself and tries to kill that vampire but nothing was affecting him. In the end, with the help of Martin. Wister attacks the heart of the vampire, which ultimately kills him. After this, he also kills Martin's dad so that he does not become a vampire. And since then Martin was with Mister. Mister was training him to fight and kill the vampires, and those people had been traveling for months going north towards New Eden, because they had heard that vampirism has not reached there yet. Martin tells that they were moving towards the north through small towns, avoiding the cities. America's government was over. All the leaders had run away and they kill all the vampires they encounter on the way. And Mr. keeps collecting their sharp teeth. They also see some such vampires who have died by burning themselves in the sun. Seeing one such vampire, Mr. tells him that it is a berserker which is the oldest type of vampire and they cannot be hit on the heart as their chest bone is very hard. To finish them, they have to crush their head. And then he shows it by giving him a demo. He then makes a wooden weapon for Martin and then he covers his car well with nets and sleeps during the day. In the next scene, they reach another town where there was a lockdown and after checking them properly, they are allowed to go inside. Their mister gets Martin checked by a doctor because he was getting a little weak. The doctor tells that he needs fresh food and vitamins. After this, he gets Martin's haircut done and both of them take some important things from a store. Here the shopkeeper asks them about a town in the south where his family leaves. Mister tells him that all the people there are dead. After which the shopkeeper tells Martin that they have been told by a man coming from New Eden that there is nothing to eat there. So everyone has become cannibals. But Martin ignores this. Then they spend the night in the same town and because Martin was tired of running away he wanted to live in a similar town. But he knew that it is not safe to live here. So he leaves for the north again the next day with Mr. On the way, a wounded woman comes in front of their car out of the woods who is looking like a nun and is being chased by two boys who are trying to sexually assault her. Mr. kills both the boys and brings sister with him. Next, they spend the night staying at a motel where Mr. pours Martin's blood to trap vampires. At night, a nun gets trapped in a trap that had become a vampire. Mr. and Martin go out and kill her but the sister doesn't like it all. Then the next morning they bury that vampire and Mr. tells sister that if she wants, they will drop her further in some lockdown city. But the sister decides to stay with them. Then all three of them move towards the north and go to a camp ahead because the sister felt that the people trapped in that camp would need their help. But after going there, they learn that the camp belongs to a dangerous cult whose name was Brotherhood. The leader of this cult was Jubedia who was a fanatic and this cult believed that this vampirism was spread by the will of God and they should not stop it. He tells them that the two people Mr. killed to save sister were men of his cult and one of them was his son. Jabedia puts Mr. in front of the vampires as punishment and takes Martin and sister with him as slaves. The next morning, Jabedia sends Martin to fetch some water and tells him that if he tries to run away, he won't be able to go far because of the vampire. But Martin still runs away from there and makes weapons according to the methods taught by Mr. 
He somehow reaches his car in the night while running and only then does a vampire girl move toward him to attack. Martin gets ready to fight her but Mr. pulls him inside the trunk of the car. Martin is overjoyed to see him. After which Mr. asks Martin to distract the vampire's attention and himself drives the car. Due to which the vampire falls down the car and Mr. goes ahead killing her. The next morning there is news on the radio that the Brotherhood is looking for Martin and Mr. After which they stop for the night in a town where they buy wine for weed. Antibiotics and vampire teeth? Martin meets a pregnant girl named Belle there, who he likes very much. The next day when they start leaving, Belle also decides to go with them as she also had to go to the new Eden so that she can give birth to her child safely. While going ahead, all three of them stay in a house to spend the night where the people were killed by the vampires. Martin finds a girl in the attic of that house, who had become a vampire. Martin quickly comes down and informs Mr. and that girl also comes downstairs after him. But then Mr. captures her and Martin kills her. The next morning they continue their journey and find the Brotherhood people searching for them by building blockades everywhere. They then start traveling at night, avoiding the main roads. Then they are confronted by another vampire whom Martin kills. Suddenly they hear someone's voice coming from the toilet on the roadside and a boy named Willie falls out of it. He tells them that the Brotherhood had imprisoned him to feed him before the vampires. This makes Mr. understand that this is Brotherhood's area and he says that they should leave soon. Willie tells them that he was in the US Army and was called here from the Middle East so that they could counter this outbreak and get the people out of here and take them to Canada. He tells that the Brotherhood has the biggest hand in spreading this pandemic and the Middle East has also been devastated. Then on the way, they see Brotherhood's car, from which they hide. The next morning they kill a Brotherhood man and take their guns. Willie tells that the Brotherhood themselves fill the vampires in vehicles and airplanes and drop them in different cities, due to which this pandemic has spread throughout the US. Now the US Army is no more and the President is also dead. After this, all four of them make a plan to go after Jebediah and wearing their dress they go towards the Brotherhood group in their car and attack Jebediah, then tie him to a tree and leave for the vampires. After this, they move forward and start going up towards the mountains where the vampires cannot live because they are cold-blooded. Later they reach a survivor camp set up by the army where everyone is living happily as they had no fear of vampires. Then in the night, they are celebrating when they also meet the sister who had escaped from the Brotherhood. Then all of a sudden the Brotherhood's people drop many vampires from the helicopter there, which starts killing many residents. Mr. hides in a house with his group and they decide to stay in the same house till morning. There was also a lady with them who had been shot outside and she was dead. The next morning an officer tells Mr. that everything is under control now and invites them to stay and help rebuild the settlement. But the group decides to move on towards the north again. Then halfway through their car breaks down, and they continue their journey on foot. They manage to avoid dangerous areas for some time, and then they find an abandoned auto junkyard and decide to stay there. But at night they are attacked by berserkers, the oldest and strongest kind of vampire. They run into a cornfield, and Sister diverts the chase away from the others, then shoots herself in the head when overrun. After several days of walking through the wilderness, they take shelter in a broken down school bus turned camper and notice in the morning that Willie is missing. The three search for him, first finding his blanket and then finding Willie killed and strung up in a tree. Mr. notes he has never encountered a thinking vampire before and warns the others to stay alert. After this, all three of them start moving forward and Belle's health starts deteriorating along the way. So they decide to stay at a place for the night. Then all of a sudden Mr. feels that someone is there and then someone is seen running. Martin and Mr. go to that side to catch him but they do not find anyone there and when they return they see that Bailey is not in her place. The next day they hear Belle screaming from old farm storage. And when Martin checks inside, he finds Belle wrapped in barbed wire and then, just then there comes Jabedia, who had now become a thinking vampire. And after attacking Martin, hacks Mr. and pins him to the wall. Then he thanks him for having given himself willingly to the vampires that attacked him. He tells him that now he is their god and is about to bite him but Martin manages to impale him, and an injured mister is successful in finishing him off. Then Martin Mercy kills the dying Belle, saving her from becoming a vampire. The duo then heads north again acquiring a pickup truck, and they meet Peggy, who lives alone in an abandoned restaurant and who picks off approaching vampires using a crossbow. Martin and Peggy have an instant connection, and Martin easily attacks and kills a vamp outside the restaurant that night with Mr. covertly looking on. The next day, Mr. is gone and Martin finds his mentor's skull pendant hanging from the truck's mirror. He and Peggy then head off by themselves, finally arriving at the border to Canada, or the New Eden for which they were searching. 
Please do like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.